What's going on guys, it's Shane, I'm back here with another video, and today we're going to finally be returning to American Truck Simulator. Um, <clears throat> now I did say I wanted to do more videos on this game, and uh, now that I have my wheel, here we are. Um, today we're going to be driving uh, John Ruta's Ram 3500, I do believe, um, and uh, we're going to be taking a, a short trip uh, up into the mountains, I guess you could say. Um, we are in... Washington. Um, if you guys know Jeff Fabiano, he did this route uh, about three years ago on his channel uh, in a Chevy Tahoe mod, which was pretty cool. So um, I always enjoyed watching that video, going back to it. Um, made me want to do this. So uh, we're going to be basically be driving all the way to this road, going up here, and there's like a hidden trail you can take right here. So that's what we're doing. Um, yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and hop in. Uh, I did. Uh, I did uh, fill up here. We'll go ahead and start it. Now I don't have track IR, so you're gonna see me doing this and this. So be prepared. Uh, we got the little. Hold on, let me take that off. Got the GPS here. Now the last time I played ATS, um. I didn't have a wheel, I had a controller, so, you know, you probably saw the wheel doing a bunch of this right here, but, uh, now it's smooth turning, so, we're gonna be making a left out of here. If you guys wanna know what kind of graphics mod I'm using, I'm using the Realistic Brutal, uh, Weather Mod, I believe it's called. Uh, I'll have to verify that, but I think it's something like that. But uh, the sun is just rising, we can go ahead and we'll leave our primary lights on or whatever it is. Um, got an incident back there. I thought this would be the perfect vehicle to do this uh, kind of road trip in. This one just came up on the, uh, on the mod site for free. Uh, I do believe this was a paid uh, vehicle uh, not too long ago, I believe. Uh, you had to pay for this vehicle. I could be wrong, but I do believe you did. But now it's on the mod site for free. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. But yeah, it's a, it's a very nice looking truck. Very nice. The sounds are great too. We also have a uh, road density mod on as well, so you should see a few more uh, cars and trucks on the road than you normally would. A very nice looking town here, got a bridge, very nice. Now, I am using the Logitech G920, however, one thing I found out um, specifically with this wheel uh, and this truck, um, when I go over a certain speed, it starts to get wobbly on me, um, and, and the wheel kind of just sort of snaps in place, uh, and I can tell it's only this truck though, because I've used another vehicle mod and it works fine, it doesn't... Uh, it doesn't, the wheel doesn't start to snap into place when you go high speeds, so. I don't know. Then again, this truck's not really meant to go that fast, but it, it does got some power to it. We'll actually showcase that power right now. It's probably, oh god, I'm on that, I'm on that line. Let's slow down here. Go ahead and open the window.
pretty nice. Very nice sounds. Very, very nice sounds. It's even quite loud with the window up. Man, I mean, I've been playing ATS for years. Um, sometimes, uh, you know, throughout my early days, I actually played with a keyboard and mouse, uh, which is quite efficient than others might think. Um, I know it might be kind of weird when you first start off, uh, but once you get used to the keyboard and mouse, it's actually pretty, pretty fluent. Uh, but then I switched to controller, uh, and for a while there, I was using an Xbox One controller. Uh, and it was pretty nice. It was pretty nice. Um, I'm not gonna lie, but you would get a lot of this uh, when you're trying to turn, because you can't really turn smoothly with a joystick, um, unless you got like precise thumb movements. I don't even know, but. Um, this wheel is a game changer. As a matter of fact, any wheel you get is going to be a game changer, uh, despite the resolution. Uh, the, the Logitech obviously has a good resolution, so it's going to match the game pretty well. Um, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm very glad I got this. Um, I'm getting the uh, the um, the stick shift uh, portion, the addition. Um, that's coming in the uh, mail tomorrow. Um, However, this video probably won't be out for a while, uh, so by the time this video comes out, I should already have it. Um, so I am driving the automatic right now. Um, it does have paddle shifters, but those are my uh, signals. But uh, yeah, look at the scenery. Now we got Diablo Lake coming up uh, up here. We're going to stop at, uh, we're going to take a look at the, the waters, which look very nice. Now. Here's the mountains area I was talking about. This is kind of, um, you're going to see Diablo Lake. It's got bluish greenish water, which is, uh, um, it's, uh, caused by the glaciers, I believe. That's what I read. Uh, I also heard that in Jeff's video a long time ago. Um, and if I keep mentioning his name, I'm sorry, he's my favorite YouTuber, so. Very good at what he does. Look at these mountains, man. So we got switchbacks here. We got people on the side of the road looking over there. Should pull over there and check it out as well, but I do have that uh that camera thing in uh, that you can configure in the uh, keys uh, so you can make it look like you hop out of your truck. <clears throat> but when I do that, uh, I press the arrow and it just moves so fast. Uh, I don't know why. can't get it to go slow. If any of you guys know what I'm talking about, you might not know what I'm talking about. What's what's the hold up here? Semi truck's going up. Oh god. Had to really apply on the brakes there. Here we go. Diablo Lake's right up here soon. Oh, I gotta merge. Probably slow down. Very, very nice looking through here. Uh, now my scaling is all the way up at a 400. Um, all my settings are maxed, so basically what you're seeing is uh, my PC's uh, max graphics. Um, it's not as great, obviously, because my graphics card isn't the greatest. Um, now I've also been thinking about buying JPX mods. Uh, graphics mod. Uh, I'm not buying the $100 one. I'm talking about the $30 one. Uh, JBX Graphics 2, I believe it's called. Um, I, I just need opinions, you know. I don't. I read a lot of those forums, and a lot of people say they charge for an update fee. But then some people are like, "Oh no, they don't charge me at all. They just send me. They send me the new file." So, you know, I'm not trying to get charged uh, every time ATS updates and they have to update. Um, but if any of you guys own JBX mods, graphics mods, um, do let me know what that's like. Um, it's a huge game changer, uh, especially the skybox. Obviously, uh, it just looks amazing. If you guys haven't, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you should definitely check it out. It's called JBX Graphics Mods. All right, we're gonna turn in here and check this out. Yep, 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 yep. yep. We got a little bit of uh, looks like overcast. So here's the water down here. 
it's kind of that bluish greenish color uh, and that's due to those glaciers you can see right over there look at this looks very nice got some cabins on the water out there um, looks like you got some a lot of cut down trees you could tell there used to be trees there through all the brush right there all right let's here's the sign that Jeff read in his video I'm not gonna really read it we just gonna check it out it's just Diablo Lake in a summary it explains the glaciers and the watercolor and whatnot you got people checking it out over there pretty cool but that's all I wanted to show you we're just gonna continue our destination Got the bathroom. Now I want to install a mod where you can drive one of those. I think that would be really cool. Um, I know there's one out there, but I think you have to pay for it. Uh, I'm not too sure. Okay. Come on. All right. Oh god, that semi's coming way too fast. All right, we should be good to go. Yeah. There we go. So we're taking this road all the way to a dirt road, which will take us to a hidden passage. So that should be interesting. Now, I believe I can press I to change. Yeah, I got the speed. We got the, what does that say? Engine hours? Uh, we got the gauges. Uh, we're gonna leave the speed on there. I meant to turn that on at the beginning. Here's Diablo Lake again. Very nice looking. Very, very nice. Uh, I got a campground, which you can't go into because I remember. Yeah, cut down tree. Oh, is that a nice Hummer? Oh, sorry. Was that a Hummer? Yeah, it looked like. Oh God. I need to pay attention. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna roll down the window again so you guys can get a good listen to the uh, the engine and the mountains. You know what I mean? Basically, just coasting down this hill. Very nice. Diablo Lake again. Uh, we're going to come across the falls area uh, when we make a left here. There's a Diablo Dams over there. I don't think you can go over there, though. You want to go? Go ahead. Got a nice tunnel area right here. Very nice. You know, I'd love to get some sort of trailer pack with this mod. Uh, I think that would be really cool. Um, Kind of like a uh, like a cattle trailer or something like that. Uh, I think that would look very nice. So here's the falls area. Very nice. Look at that waterfall right there. I believe. Very nice, man. So nice. And you know this is this is stock uh, SCS. Um, this isn't any type of coast to coast mod or anything like that. Very nice. I've always wanted to go to Washington in real life. Um, they just have some of the best forests. Uh, scenery, honestly. Um, it's insane. I love 
absolutely love um, Washington. Oh god. See, it got a little tail happy there. But this is definitely one of the best uh, truck mods on ATS. Definitely. I'm surprised this thing's even free. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it was, you had to pay for it back in the day when it first came out. So yeah, it is getting quite cloudy up here. It's probably going to start raining. Actually, I think I have my rain uh, probability all the way down. <laughs> I probably should have put that at halfway. So we're coming up on that road here. Voice crack. I want to kill a duck. Just kidding. Sorry. So sorry. I always say the most stupidest things when I have voice crack. Like, I'm going to go kill a baby duck. Are you kidding me? Why would I say that? Okay. Make a right on this. Okay, I probably shouldn't have slowed down that much because somebody would have hit me. Uh, now, mind you, I can feel all of this force speed back of this gravel road on my wheel, so if you hear if you hear a little, uh, that kind of a bumpy noise in the background, that's what that is. So here we are. I should probably be on this side. Look at that. There's a house out here, too. <clears throat> all right we're not gonna try to speed through here because <clears throat> i did drive this before and uh it, it if you're not paying attention you can't go off the road there's gonna be cliffs up here so we don't want to is that guy fishing or something what are you doing actually we'll, we'll, we'll speed it up here oh my god <laughs> can feel all of the rattling in my wheel oh my goodness all right <clears throat> we'll go ahead and roll down the window <clears throat> but yeah this is why I said it would be the perfect vehicle to take um, I mean this thing just this, this thing is meant for this type of uh, um, terrain. You know, you see those uh, Ram commercials. They're always driving in the... I don't know if it's Ram or Ford. I think it's Ford. They're always built tough. Isn't that what it is? Yeah. That's not Ram. That's Ford. Okay. Got a lot of road here. Cut it. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Alright. Yeah, no, so at the top of this, or at the end of this gravel road, there should be kind of a, a machinery area where there's going to be a lot of uh, deforestation and stuff like that. Which I don't really support, but, you know, we need the wood, I guess. Oh god. This is kind of where I lost control last time, I think. We got a nice little wooden bridge here. This ain't wooden, but it is the falls. Look at that. That's so beautiful, man. So beautiful. You can hear the sound of the seat kind of jumping as the terrain gets rough. Very nice. I hope people watch this video. I feel like they should. You know, this is way more interesting than a bus. Especially on a Lego game, I'm not gonna lie. I find this way more fun. I'd kill to do videos like this. I mean, I could obviously do videos like this, but it ain't gonna get that sort of uh, attention that it needs to. It might, I don't know. Attract new, new viewers, possibly. I don't know. It's usually how it works. Half my content is uh, on Roblox and... That's where all my viewers come from. Don't get many ATS viewers. I think my last ATS, ATS video got just over 500 views, I think. Which is, I mean, that's okay, but... I mean, I've got 3,000 subscribers. It should get... Should, should do a bit better than that. We got switchbacks coming up here. Oh, it's getting... Oh! See, that's what I... 
That's what I mean. It can get very, very loose up here. There it goes again. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I know you guys saw that. I almost went off the cliff. Okay. Come on. I'm off the road a little bit. But that's alright. Man, this this wheel does not like this terrain. So this wheel has uh, dual motors in it, so it's not a uh, drive belt or anything like that. Um, so the force feedback's a little different than others. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. I picked this up for $271, so it was on sale for Christmas. So not bad. Ooh, we're all over the road here. All right, we're almost to the top of the, uh, or the end of the gravel road, or dirt road, you could say now. third person action all right we're almost at the top here so from here where you want to go is <clears throat> you want to go to the left I believe no sorry wait yeah you want to go up this way I don't know you can go this way, either way. Um, don't just don't go that way to the right, because it'll. I think no, sorry, it'll it'll go through right there. I didn't know that. Yeah, but you just want to go this way. You got people working on machinery right there, as you can see. See, it's moving. Oh, right here as well. Let's see, should I get a thumbnail here? Eh. Not nah, look out! Look at those storms, man. I was hoping it'd be a beautiful day, but I guess not. So this is the hidden path right here. As you can see, it's a dotted line. That's because it's hidden. If you haven't taken this road before, it'll be it'll be invisible, but the dotted line will pop up as you drive on it. So now this this path right here, you can kind of speed down, which I don't recommend, but. I did it before, it turned out pretty well, so let's hope we don't die here. Going 40 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour on this gravel road, going downhill. You can't go that way, so you have to remain left. Got some switchbacks coming up. <clears throat> Alright, slow down, slow down. The brakes are good on this, despite the Logitech's uh, horrible braking method with the rubber stopper. The brakes are pretty good. Oh no. Okay, see, I had to crank my wheel about. Oh. I don't know how much I cranked it, but it was a lot of overhand movement going on. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god. Well, I have uh, full coverage. It's okay. Let's be careful here. As I go around the corner. <laughs> oh my god. It's okay. We're okay. It's just, it's a ram, okay? You don't buy a ram and not do that, okay? It's okay, we're all good. <laughs> back at it. <laughs> yup, back at it. Here we go.
See, now, without Jeff's video, I wouldn't even know this path was even here. I don't even know how he found it. How does anyone find a path like this? I guess that's just the thing about the ATS map. You can really explore, honestly. There's so much to explore. And with vehicles like this, odds like this, it's very fun. You know, you don't want to always be in a semi-truck. Because you can't make things happen like this. If I, if I took a semi down this road, it probably wouldn't end well. So here's the main road. You want to go right from here. And this will take you into Belling Bellingham, I do believe. Should be good, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good. Alright. Yeah, now this will take you into Bellingham. I'm pretty sure that's the city. I've got some more water here, I believe. Yep. Oh, I'm on the other side of the road. <laughs> I'm glad the rearview mirror works. You can see that car up there. Let's see that, yeah, right up there. I should probably slow down through here. Yep, we got some traffic. Oh, sorry. We meant to go left. So there's an Ace Hardware and an arcade here. And just, oh, apply the brakes. Yeah, you really gotta get into the brakes. Interesting. 7-Eleven across the street as well. Can't really see because of that bush, but we're going to go for it. We are good. 30 miles an hour around this corner. We're doing 30. Yeah, 30. Let's do it. This is pretty fun. This is exactly what I wanted to do. Oh god, not that. But, gonna be quite a long video, but that's okay. Yep, Bellingham. And I must say, I love the GPS on this truck. It's amazing. Having, to, having it right there at your side like that. Apply the brake. Oh, truck, what are you doing? Oh, please don't hit me. Oh my god, that was... That was not even AI-like. That was very interesting. Usually the AI don't get in crashes like that, but... I wish I had track IR. I should probably buy one. I don't know. <clears throat> but... I don't. Car dealer. Oops. Take one more good look at the truck. Very nice. Let's go. Are you gonna wait, semi? Yep. That was a nice turn. I'm proud of that turn. Without even looking, yeah, I'm proud of it. Um, let's make a let's make a right. Okay, everybody's going right. Good deal. There's a bus lot. Look at those Bluebird Visions. Okay, we'll pull into the uh, the agency here. Got some people sitting out front. Very nice. Is there parking here? I'm just gonna assume that there is. Yeah, it looks like there is. Right about here. How's that? Oh, that's that's quite perfect almost. Not really. Could have went to the other side, but there we have it. That's um. That's the little scenic route I wanted to take, and uh, I believe this is John Rudis Ram 3500. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, 
But uh, yeah, let me know how you guys like this video. I thought it was pretty cool, especially with the wheel. Um, I don't have a wheel cam yet, but uh, I think that would be pretty cool, something to do in the future. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know how you guys like this. I'm going to do more routes like this. This would be pretty cool. Um, but in, obviously in different vehicles. So um, yeah, uh, if you guys want the link to this truck, I will put it in a link down, the, down below. Uh, try not to get yourself a virus, please. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Uh, if you guys like the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.